So, in this video, we are going to be talking about the police and skill sets. So, I get this question a lot. Alex, what skill sets do you believe I have as a police officer that can be used in building a business? So, that was a question that came through not too long ago. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you five skill sets that you as a police officer already possess that can be easily transferred into building your own business and pay very close attention to the last skill set as that is just truly, truly special. But before I begin, I just wanna say that you may not value these skill sets, okay? Because you use them so often in your day-to-day -day roles, but these skill sets I'm gonna share with you are essential, they're fundamental and critical in building a successful business. So the first skill set is communication. Now, as a police officer, your skill set in communication is pretty amazing, from communicating with the general public, the courts, and your fellow colleagues. And you do this on a regular basis. Now, a lack of communication internally or externally in any business can ultimately lead to the collapse of that business. Without the proper marketing, a business will struggle to survive too, which is also a form of communication with customers. Communication also increases productivity from communicating with suppliers, distributors, customers, and team members, and it actually avoids delays in the execution of ideas and plans. As a police officer, you have built this skill set up over the years. And to be honest, not too many people in the wider general public have this skill set and can articulate their plans and ideas so well. So the second skill set is problem solving. Now, as entrepreneurs, we are primarily problem solvers. We find a problem in a market and we solve them with our products and services, not to mention the problems that arise in our own companies. Now, as a police officer, you are also problem solvers from dealing with warrants to detainees in custody, to public order, to burglaries, and just about any other area in policing, you're primarily problem solving, no matter how small or big that problem may be. Again, with this skill set is something that you already possess as a police officer. And in business, you'll be using this skill set on a regular basis, problem solving. And with each problem that you solve, it's an opportunity to grow your business, come up with new ideas and innovations, and also just move through the day-to-day -day challenges of business much quicker. So the third skill set is team working. Now, as you start off in business, you'll primarily uh, and typically become a solopreneur, doing all things, wearing all the hats. But if you do that for too long, well, it can be very damaging for your business. You see, entrepreneurship is a team sport from be building your team from sales to operations to logistics to your finance team and even to your power team in supplies and distributors. Well, policing is no different. Typically, you work in teams on a job to get a desired outcome from that job. You share the same vision of that job and even pull in other additional resources such as police staff, special constables and even CPOs. Great things in business are not just done by one individual person, they're done by a team of people. And I think you would agree, policing is exactly the same. And the fourth skill set is resilience. Now, as a police officer, you have an incredible ability to bounce back after difficulties in the job. Now, whether that is dealing with uh, the public, the courts, the government, or even PSD, it's this unique skill set of toughness that will take you very far in business. As bloody amazing as being your own boss is in business, things do go wrong. Now, it's often those without the skill sets of resilience that find it very hard to get back on track. Resilience enables you to move past and push past the hardships of being in business as well as a police officer, and also gives you the opportunity to become better in the process. And from that, you can also refine your learnings from that hardship to better prepare you for, to approach certain tasks. The skill set from resilience as a police officer to entrepreneur is seamless. And the fifth skill set is selling. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, you probably haven't sold a thing in your life. 
But let me just challenge you on that for one second. You see, you have sold before, and it may not be in monetary terms just yet, but you have sold before. For example, when you're dealing with non-compliant offenders, you're essentially persuading and influencing them to get the desired outcome you want, as well as dealing with objections. Now, by any means, that is selling. And with those non-compliant offenders, you're essentially persuading and influencing them to take action on something that's gonna benefit you, but also benefit them. And business is very, very similar. Selling is all around us whether that's dealing with the custody sergeants, whether that's dealing with um, the public, the courts, or even in your interview in becoming a police officer. So that's the five skill sets that help you as a police officer to build a successful business. I hope this video has helped and also give you a bit of confidence in your own ability to build a successful business. And if you like the thought of that idea, well, check out the link around this video and click on it to check out our latest success quick start days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.